our boy is back, the Christian fundamentalist Gordon Klingenschmidt, and he's going to explain some science to you about when life begins. I want to ask three questions now. When does life begin? Does it begin, A, at a heartbeat? When does life begin? Does it begin when you can detect the baby's heartbeat around 12 weeks? Does it begin at viability? In other words, when the baby is able to survive outside the womb. The courts say that's around 22 to 24 weeks. Does it begin at conception, at zero weeks? Of those three, I'm telling you, the answer is none of the above. It actually begins before conception in the mind and heart of God. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> science, hashtag science. Life begins in the mind of God before anybody ever even has sex when the sperm is still, you know, swirling around inside the man's balls. That's where life is. Little Craig is inside your ball sack right now, Victor. You like that? You like that feeling? It's the feeling of God. God is in your scrotum. Ridiculous. So ridiculous. So if Gordon Klingenschmidt, if what he's saying is true, masturbation is murder. Masturbation is murder. And every single one of those sperm is uh, another victim. Which means that in my lifetime, I've murdered 19 quadrillion, 746 trillion, 219 billion, 12 million, and 986,406 people. That's how many people I've murdered because, hey man, life begins in my sack. And I masturbate. So all those sperm, they're people. I killed them all. Women, when you ovulate, all that blood, why do you think it's blood coming out of your vagina? Huh? Why do you think that is? Because you're murdering somebody. What the fuck is wrong with you, you immoral piece of shit? The guy is so fucking Looney Tunes that it's hilarious to talk about him. I mean, it really is. Like, if we want to have... And ser seriously, this goes back to the conversation that we uh, did in the last segment about abortion. That if you want to have a rational discussion and talk about the gray areas, of course it makes sense. Look, I'm a moderate on the issue of abortion. So if, like, there are, I think there's a variation of opinions that are acceptable. I think you should draw the line when uh, the nervous system develops in the fetus, okay? So before then, it's all the woman's choice, 100%. After then, it should only be in cases of rape, incest, fatal fetal defect in life of the mother that you can get an abortion, okay? Because I do think there's a moral aspect if you're inflicting pain and it's a late-term abortion. And we already have that in the U.S. Late-term abortion is banned except in those rare circumstances. But I think there's room for debate and there's room for conversation. One person might say, look, I think we should draw the line at 26 weeks. That's where I think it's fair. Another person might say, well, I say 20. Another person might say, I, look, man, I, I go a, a little later than all you. I go to whatever. And it, it can go, that conversation can continue, and you could talk it out, and you could bounce ideas off each other, and you could base the science on it, and you can throw out all the, all the terms and discuss the differences between zygotes and embryos and pregestation fetuses and, you know, uh, what's being developed at what time. And you can, re there is a lot to talk about and a lot to, uh, you know, factor in when crafting policy. But these idiots throw all of that out and go, no, God makes up a person and a person is real. Before you even have sex, uh, before anything happens at all, there are people in your sack and women, your ovaries filled with people. Science, hashtag science, Gordon Klingenschmidt, get at me.